Do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, it's still cold over here in Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been told that, at least the weatherman has told us that uh, the cold spell should last until about the weekend. Then it'll be closer to normal temperatures for here, which are, I mean, are around, around freezing, but uh, now we're just at sub-freezing. So, I mean, it's still not extremely cold, but you know, and uh, night if you get minus 11 minus 12 celsius which is i mean it's it's still quite cold especially uh, our houses really aren't built in respect i mean here in the plain as we call it in respect to colds like that so anyway so we do we do feel it more than the the i was going to say that if you were in quebec or in certain parts of the United States where it gets really cold, whatever. Okay, so I hope you're all well. It's already Thursday. Mm. Excuse me, it's still cold though. It's already Thursday and it's been a busy week. Yeah, it has. Getting things ready for big meetings coming up and yeah, a lot of things anyway. So yeah, I can say I'm happy it's already Thursday. Yeah, so walking around in the woods. Well, the woods. It's a it's a nice little wood. It goes a little bit further in that direction. I never really bring you that way because when I'm on my lunch period, I'm gonna try and get this on my shoulder. Yeah, when I'm on my lunch period, I don't go f that far off, but it goes a little ways in that direction. I was. Uh, reading something or was it no i think i heard it on the radio on a podcast about uh, a subject was kind of interesting it was called chronological snobism i mean are we chronological snobs sounds nice and sophisticated doesn't it but really it isn't really basically it's the good old notion well there's two actually that combine together one is the good old days meaning that things were always better before and because that you have lived in the good old days you know better than the people do today and then there's uh, the today sophistication or evolved age um, that that is like you're going by today's uh, worldview and of course since people uh, 50, 100, 20, whatever, years ago. Uh, well, of course, you're much more evolved in your thought process. You're much more progressive in your thought process. So, of course, you are the one who has the, I was going to say, the light. Well, it's kind of interesting because in a way, uh, both create a question of I'm better than you it's a kind of a, as they call it they call it chronological snobism now where where do I find myself on that you know sometimes I was gonna say I read that I thought well I guess I must be a snob all the time because sometimes I do think you know wow things were better in the old days uh, the morals were definitely in my opinion uh, better uh, there was at least there was more it, I had the feeling that people were more friendly and 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 uh, less violence television shows were you know not x-rated and so on now and then sometimes I turn around and say well I sure am glad that in today's day and age we have uh, you know, ways of communicating that we have learned how to, to, uh, to be multicultural uh, because we we are gone global and so on and I'm thinking like well listen to yourself you're being a chronological snob in every possible way yeah so that means I guess must I must be a multi I was gonna say a, a broadband snob or something like that no but 
it is, there is something about that, isn't there? I mean, have you noticed that, like, when we're teenagers, often we'll tend to be, uh, I call it chronological snobs of the today is better than yesterday. As you age, often you tend to go the other way. Yesterday was better than today. And it is something that comes out a lot, actually, because really, in a way, it's very often a question of, of worldviews that collide. Now, worldviews that collide, my goodness, isn't that a subject to these days, isn't it? Because basically, right now, there's a whole lot of worldviews that are colliding with a minimal dose of respect. Yeah. I think respect is the main word. I think tolerance is a hard word, actually, because tolerance has become a PC word. But respect is something that really, really, I mean, we should we should have. I mean, respect means that you can actually talk and disagree and still realize that the person in front of you is a, is a human being worthy of respect. Tolerance for me very often means I will tolerate you. I won't like you. I won't even think that you're worth my respect, but I'll tolerate you. No, I, I'm being actually imprecise in the definitions, but I think that what I really would like to, to see more and more is a lot, lot more respect in today's world. You know, oh well, chronological snobs. I mean, you could expand this a lot, lot more. I mean, in the sense of well, what is a chronological snob or you know worldviews oh am i confusing enough i probably am aren't i anyway you can as usual i'll ask you give me your opinions keep it nice and uh we'll chat later on this week i hope yeah we've got a big we have the company the company party on saturday we never make them in december they always make them the end of january so that the crazy time is over but actually that's wrong because in today's age see chronological snob in today's age there doesn't seem to be any easy slow down time it seems to be crazy time all, all the time okay well dc signing off and go slowly to somewhere warm okay hope you're all well take care and uh, the weekend's coming up soon bye bye take care